I'm standing on top of the Bull Mountains and you can see for miles. It's sagebrush country and multi-generational family cattle ranches. The changes in the wind as nearby coal mining operations shift. To look at the bulls, they're standing tall amidst the landscape. Kit Nielsen and Steve Charter ranch side by side in the rolling sagebrush country of the Bull Mountains. They're also brother and sister. For 67 years, the bulls have been our home and our livelihood. Been in love with it ever since. To them, there's no secret as to why the Bull Mountains hold such magic. But it's also just really excellent cattle country. It's the same allure that brought Pat Teeley to buy land in the Bull Mountains of his own. Well, the best thing about it is there's not a lot of people here. <laughs> While these ranchers have a love of the land in common, they also have a common fight. If this was a science fiction movie and there was an alien monster that was destroying the land and exhaling poison, some hero would get up and figure out how to kill it. The issue at hand, ranchers say, is a nearby coal mine operated by Signal Peak Energy is damaging land, contaminating groundwater, and canceling long-held leases. All tactics, they say, to kick ranchers off their land so the mine can expand. We're not just going to roll over. This local beef with Signal Peak isn't new. The mine has been entangled in a series of legal issues related to health and safety issues. In January 2022, a federal judge ordered the mine pay $1 million in fines after the mine was caught illegally pumping waste into abandoned sections of the mine. And management covered up workplace injuries. Signal Peak accepted the ruling and said it is ready to turn over a new leaf. A lot of these environmental things where they were dumping toxic waste into the uh, basically into the aquifers, you know, that, that hasn't been rectified. Charter, Teeley, and Nielsen are all members of the Bull Mountain Alliance.